No, I mean, I think, uh, I don't know. I mean, I find it tough to really put any blame on, on the 50s here. I think he held his line. He didn't switch lanes. Um, now, I didn't see the previous corners or anything like that. I don't know if he ran a different lane uh, than what he had run in the previous laps. But as cars were passing you, I mean, you know, I, I can relate basically when you're like at Darlington, right? I had a damaged car, so I was a second off the pace. So, I mean, it's a tough job to stay out of the way. I literally had to run the apron like in the dirt just to make sure because everyone runs a different line and you can't, there's no way their spotter or the driver can keep up with where everyone is running that's coming up behind you. So you just try to stay in, in that one particular lane and um and hope everyone has you know it's really the spotter's fault it's the spotter's responsibility of the fast car to tell you where he's been running and if, as long as you know where he's been running you can adapt uh and, and get around him usually without uh, any problem so um yeah like i say I, I didn't see any lane change or anything uh in that particular corner but i don't know about the laps before but like i said he had i think someone below him so um, I, I really didn't see any fault from anyone. I think that you know, Kyle just drove in there and you know guessed wrong on, on where he was going to be and, and ran the back of him.